objectives? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, his evaluator is Robin. Will you please read his objectives? Certainly. For project number seven, research your topic. The objectives include collect information about your topic from numerous sources, carefully support your points and opinions with specific facts, examples, and illustrations gathered through research. Time, five to seven minutes. Who likes to travel? Yeah. I love to travel. I love the whole process of travel. Getting ready and packing and going to the airport. And one of my most favorite moments of traveling is the excitement and the anticipation at baggage claim. <laughs> the carousel, bags start to plop out and going, when's mine going to be next? Did it make it on the flight? Or is it off to Toledo or somewhere else? I have no idea. I hear the door. <laughs> so, coming back, from a recent trip, I had what I experienced to be most every traveler's nightmare. This became my bag, <laughs> or the remnant of my bag anyway, as you can see. The U.S. Department of Transportation, nor the airlines, report exact statistics on the number of lost bags experienced every year. It's estimated, though, that about 2% of all travelers will experience some kind of problem with their bag. The airlines, in fact, don't even call it lost baggage. They call it mishandled. <laughs> 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 I looked at the remnants of my bag and said, clearly, this has been mishandled. <laughs> so there I sat, not wanting to experience the usual airline rhetoric regarding, we're doing our best, and did you have insurance, and perhaps using a different luggage company instead of Samsonite. <laughs> and I started looking at the other 98% of people who had not experienced the mishandled bag. And I started to notice something. Some of the travelers were moving more delftly and, and a little lighter. And I also noticed some that were struggling with their bags. And one fellow in particular had this huge duffel bag that he put over his shoulder and was carrying another, another luggage cart, not to mention his carry-on. And it struck me. I, I'm a forensic psychotherapist. I deal with the criminal justice system. I read a lot about criminal justice and psychology. I was reminded of ancient Rome. And there was a punishment for murder. And in ancient Rome, if you committed the act of murder, they would take the dead body and they would strap it to the person who committed the crime. Now, just imagine, if you will, for a moment, the stench of a rotting human corpse and how that would start to push people away. Ugh. Followed by then the flies and the maggots and the decay. And that would start to, the, the bugs and the maggots would start to eat the dead body, but then they would also start to infest and infect the living person and that person true too would die, a very gruesome, slow, and painful death. I 
started thinking about what is it that I'm carrying? What is my baggage that I claim? What is it that burdens me? It stinks and it literally pushes people away from me instead of drawing people to me. What is it that I carry around that really is just weighing me down? It's truly the definition of dead weight. Viktor Frankl in his book, Man's Search for Meaning, spoke very eloquently about his experience in the German concentration camps. And through his study, noted that those prisoners who had a positive attitude and were looking forward to their future had a much greater chance of survival than those who just gave up. Likewise, Jim Collins in his book, Great, or uh, Good to Great, I beg your pardon, Good to Great, writes that we are not imprisoned by our histories, by our setbacks, by our, even our defeats, but we're actually freed by our choices. This is also echoed in this book, which is on my must-read list. It's called The Happiness Advantage. This was just published about four or five months ago by Sean Aker. He's done extensive research on happiness and what makes people happy. One of his concepts in this book is that if we can make meaning out of the experience, we experience growth, and whereby we experience greater happiness. And likewise, one of the biggest factors in a person's happiness is social connection. Do I connect with other people? So my lesson from baggage claim was for you to take a look at. What is it that you might be carrying around? What's dead weight? What's just dragging behind you? And looking at what's the purpose of doing that? What's the purpose of having this with me? Or do I just need to let it go? Free myself up, lighten up. So next time when you're at the airport, before you grab your baggage claim ticket, I invite you to do exactly like the recording says. Check your bags. Make sure that it's really yours. Make sure you're not picking up something that you don't need. Thank you very much.